When you combine camera placement, movement, and actor blocking, a filmmaker can create an almost infinite number of cinematic combinations. But great filmmakers know how to use these elements to create more interesting and meaningful moments. In this video, we're going to look at a confrontation and how power dynamics can be communicated visually. Let's take a page out of Paul Thomas Anderson's Director's Playbook. The term blocking refers to how characters move through a scene and interact with their environment. Staging is the placement and movement of the camera and scene elements. When blocking and staging work together in harmony, it means the difference between watching a functional scene or a subtext-rich visual story. Make sure to subscribe below and click the bell icon to stay in the loop. Let's jump in. The central conflict of There Will Be Blood is the simmering feud between Daniel and Eli. What would you like, Eli? $10,000. As they struggle for control of Little Boston. I have a competition in me. I want no one else to succeed. Daniel's oil empire versus Eli's expanding church. We have a sinner with us here who wishes for salvation. Let's see how P.T. Anderson visually captures dominance and disgrace. The scene opens with a shot of oil flowing into a basin. Visual lines are established to draw our eyes up. The camera tilts up slightly to reveal his target, Daniel and his men. We are meant to identify with Eli in this scene, which is why we stick with him on his approach. We cut to the first of two POV shots. We see Eli's face for the first time in the scene trying hard not to look nervous, and the anticipation grows. Then we get a second POV shot that puts us directly in Eli's shoes. Daniel is also staring at us. The orientation of Daniel and his men leaves a gap between them for Eli to land. It's helpful to use a storyboard to map it out. The first half of the scene builds Eli's momentum as he goes to confront Daniel. It takes Eli a full minute. Remember, Anderson wants us to experience the moment through Eli. Then we cut to a reverse on Eli, a low angle showing his confidence. But any dominance Eli might be generating is balanced by the low angle looking up at Daniel. These two angles gives us one last glimpse of the balance of power between them before shattering it. When do we get our money, Daniel? <gasps> Aren't you a healer? An official for the Holy Spirit? When are you coming over and make my son here again? Can't you do that? Let me bless the world is Daniel. For the remainder of the scene, the camera occupies this ground level perspective to match Eli's. You should have done that. Oh, you are the church of the third revelation. Five thousand dollars. We made. We track with the action as Daniel drags Eli along the ground into the mud and oil. Don't even try it, Grunt! You splash around in here! Two of Daniel's men watch in the background, adding to the humiliation. That's it, that's it. 
I'm gonna bury you underground. Oh, oh. I'm gonna bury you underground. Daniel releases Eli and walks away. But we are left in the mud with Eli. Remember, in this scene, P.T. Anderson uses blocking and staging to show Eli's attempts to assume control and his humiliating failure to do so. We feel it just as much as we see it. If you're planning a scene with elaborate blocking and staging, check the description to sign up for Studio Binder. It's free to get started. Remember, making a work of art is hard work. Help me, please. Please. But in the end, it's worth the effort. I'm finished. If you want to get more of these videos on blocking and staging, remember to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Click the bell icon for notifications.